for UBTV News and we're here at the inaugural Bristol Law Conference 2013 themed law and the media. So Sophie who are you most looking forward to hearing speak today? Um, Baroness Hale I think because um, she's the only female judge on the uh, Supreme Court so. Um, Brenda, Baroness Hale speak today. Day. Uh, Brenda Hale because she's the Chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord Hunt because I'm interested about the role that law plays in the media. Um, I'm here with Stephen Hunter and Ross Burrell, the organisers of the conference. So Stephen, what inspired you to, to form the conference? We had this idea about a year ago. Um, I'm quite interested in the finance sector and they have a lot of economic conferences, they have a lot of um, events like this, so I thought, why shouldn't there be one for law? Um, and Ross and I had been to a couple of panel discussions and book reviews, but there'd never really been a full one-day conference like this. So the theme of the event was law in the media. Um, what did you think of the theme? The theme is quite up to date. It's very, it's a very contemporary, contemporary sort of um, focus of issues that, that that were discussed today. I'm here with Lord Hunt, one of the speakers at the conference today. So, um, Lord Hunt, what was your highlight of the conference today? Well, I was hearing the Chancellor explaining, I thought, in, in a brilliant way, the role of the Supreme Court, the role of the judiciary, and then the Chief Constable, in a very pragmatic way, pointing out how to improve the relationship between the police and the public, and above all, the media. I'm here with Baroness Hale, one of the speakers today at the conference. So what did you think of the theme of the conference? I thought it was a brilliant theme. It raised so many questions and they looked at it from so many different perspectives. You know, a journalist, a judge, a policeman and Lord Hunt, uh, who's a press regulator, so-called. Uh, it was a wonderful collection. Um, and if you could summarise the conference in one word, what would it be? I think it, it demonstrated the importance of debating these issues in the context of having a number of people who know a great deal about the subject, de debating it with people who perhaps haven't got the practical experience, and then together we can find a solution. Because it's only through debates like this that something as difficult as the internet, yeah. social media, can evolve and to be put in context all the time. Why did you choose to speak on your chosen area? What was it that attracted you to that topic? Well, I spoke about uh, the media and the courts, uh, and in particular the Supreme Court, where we have all sorts of initiatives to make ourselves more uh, accessible and uh, friendly to the public. Uh, but that is the safest topic for me to talk about. There are plenty of other aspects of this that I couldn't possibly talk about, uh, and it was been very silly for me to venture a view. So if you could summarise the conference in one word, what would it be? Brilliant. What did you think of the conference today? It was really good. It was really interesting to see um, different kinds of people from different backgrounds and different areas within the law speaking on the same subject. Um, but the topic in general I think is very important, especially for our generation, because of all my friends I could probably name one who doesn't have Facebook and yeah. the number of people who tweet and post statuses, it's so... Well, especially as we were using Twitter to ask the questions, yeah. I thought that was very yeah. appropriate. Um, well, I thought it was a really good experience because um, as a first year law student, we are currently studying defamation now in lectures, so it was particularly relevant, especially when they talked about the defamation bill and everything. So it was just kind of good to like have a perspective like outside lectures and how it's really...